Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited about today's video. It was actually a request from my Instagram followers. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Miss underscore J Rabbit. I went live and while I was on live and while we were talking, I was in the process of coming back from vacation and packing my gym bag. And everybody was like, what are you doing? Da, da, da. And it was like, you need to make a video on what's in your gym bag. So, here we are. Hey, <laughs> what's in my gym bag? For those of you who don't know, I'm actually like really like active and I'm pretty much of a gym rat. Uh, I work out anywhere from four to six times a week. It typically falls somewhere around five, but sometimes it's ends up being like four and sometimes it ends up being like six so you just never know um but yeah so here are a few of my essentials of what's in my gym bag now mind you this is my home gym bag when i'm not traveling when i'm traveling i don't carry as much when i'm at my home gym so First things first, my bag that I have. This is a Nike gym bag. It's like medium sized and it holds everything that I need pretty good. I still have space left over. Um, I have had this bag for a few years actually. Um, I got this bag from Hibbit Sports. I remember where I got it from. I got it from Hibbit Sports, but I've had this bag for, for a few years. Um, yeah, it's kind of like my little go-to. It has a bunch of pockets in here for extra stuff. I like that it has a little extra side pocket over here. I throw my keys in there. That way I don't have to be digging around in my back for my keys. I know that they're over here in this little pocket. So, some of the essential things that I have in my gym bag for every day. I always have, now, a mask. Um, some gyms don't require you to wear a mask, some do. My main gym that I go to, as long as you're actively working out, like not standing around talking, shooting the shit, like you're actively working out, you don't have to wear your mask. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, honestly, I don't know how people work out in masks. I tried once and I almost died. So yeah, but I do keep it just in case if someone tries to say something or you know there's maybe like a the, the if the let's just say if the if they change the rule at the last minute i didn't know i always have an extra mask y'all 2020 has shown us for this year next year probably just always have an extra mask on you like get you the small little cloth ones or the paper ones they fold up super small like you can literally fit an extra mask like in your wallet if you needed to or in your purse like carry an extra mask in the bag um the other big thing that i carry now being a youtuber um for if i decide to film i don't film all of my gym routines because honestly i be in a gym getting it in and filming kind of slows me down so the two things that i do carry now are you guys my camera and my tripod this is a travel tripod it's very small it goes as you can see it can fit in this bag easy it can fit in my suitcase when I'm traveling a travel tripod that's in there for if I decide to film at the gym cell phone holder um depending on if where I'm at sometimes I wear clothes that have a pocket and sometimes I don't um, so depending on the gym that I'm at, I don't care about leaving my bag where it is and my headphones are Bluetooth, so I can just leave my phone in my bag. But if I'm at a new gym or a gym I don't trust that much, my phone is staying right on me while my, so yeah. So I have this for my cell phone, which brings me to my next one, headphones. These two kind of go hand in hand. Uh, Bluetooth headphones. I have had these for such a long time too. I don't, I think I've had these for like probably two years. I don't even remember where I got these from. Um, but 
if I remember, I will put a link down in the description in the description box for you guys. But yes, these are the best um, Bluetooth headphones. I like these better than corded headphones because I have really small ears. I don't know if you can tell. Headphones don't really stay in my ears. They're always constantly falling out and it was really interrupting my workouts. So I switched to Bluetooth headphones and they work out perfectly. I can wear these when my, if my hair is down, whenever my hair is up and a pineapple, it fits, it can slide around from the pineapple, whether my hair is straight or curly. Bluetooth headphones. Get you a pair. Uh, the other things that I have are my, I'll put this in the link to the description box. Uh, I got this off Amazon, it's by P.O. Bio or Peo Bale, I don't know how you say it. It comes in a little carrying case, and I love this because it comes with, you know, everything I have has to be pink. Um, with <laughs> ankle straps and a resistance band. So I have a heavy resistance band, super heavy. This is also a go-to if you need a workout and you don't have any weights, resistance bands, your best friend. And ankle straps to hook on to cables. So whenever I'm doing cable exercises, um, if you've ever been to the gym and if, you, and if you've tried doing a cable exercise using like the little triangle hook or whatever, it really hurts your ankle and, and it gets kind of tedious after trying to like fix it and moving. So invest in these, invest in ankle straps. I think, I think this was $20, that's it. Ankle straps, you take with you, you can hook them onto the cables, you can do all kind of lower body cable exercises. I love these, they're super durable, they're heavy duty. As you can hear from that big loud strap, they stay strapped and they stay hooked. Get you some ankle cable straps. I like it because I can keep it all together in this little carrying bag. Boom. So, other things that I carry, um, I always carry an extra scrunchie, just in case the one I have in my hair pops. Y'all know my hair is curly, it is big and it is thick. You never know if one's gonna pop, so I always carry an extra scrunchie. Headbands, so I have one that I normally wear, which are which are my just my Nike little thin ones, and this is just to keep the flyaways out of my hair because normally my hair's up in pineapple when I work out, especially if it's curly. What I have been, well, I'm not gonna say what I've been trying. What I'm going to try, and I'll probably drop a video to show y'all how this goes. One of the issues that I have is my hair when it's straight. Um, if you haven't seen my first straight hair or my second straight hair video checked out on my channel You'll see where I straighten my hair again. I don't straighten my hair like that. I straightened my hair in September of 2017 I did not straighten my hair again until May of 2020 and then I straightened it again in January because I needed a length check and a, and a good trim and then I ended up having to straighten it again in February and that is what you see here this is still like the remnants of what's left. Um, one of the reasons why I don't really wear straight hair is because I'm such an avid workout person. And you know, blowouts and sweat don't mix. And you know, your girl gets in with her workouts. So I thought that I would try Gym Wrap. Um, for those of you who don't know who Gym Wrap is, it's the company in, with uh, Nicole Ari Parker. And she did this, it's supposed to be for black women, why well, don't I say for black women? It's for all women, but specifically for black women. With, it's like moisture wickening and has like three layer technology. I don't know, I have to read the rest of the package for you guys. Basically it's supposed to be cis where you can still keep your hair and it not frizz up and curl up. So we're gonna try, we're gonna see. I so I'll probably make a video documenting. Um, if not, I'm gonna be sticking with my Nike headbands that I wear. We're gonna see because I really do like my hair being straight. But listen, black women have always had to choose of our hair or our bodies. It's just a thing. It's been statistically proven. When you ask black women 
why they don't work out. The number one reason is our hair. You have to choose. And I don't blame people for choosing me. I choose my body over my hair. But I do understand the struggle because I love my hair when it's straight. I love it when it's curly, but I like it when it's straight too. But like in January, when my hair was straight, I couldn't work out for the whole month. And guess what? <laughs> Your girl got back a little fluffy. <laughs> now I'm working double time. <laughs> so yeah, headbands, gym wrap. We're gonna see how this works out. Video coming soon. Me versus the gym wrap. Or I should say the blowout versus the gym wrap. Uh, for stretching, I carry a yoga strap and my yoga pads for if I take a yoga class. Um, these are to help keep your feet kind of level and because I have a high arch. Or yoga strap is to help you stretch. I use this, you can strap it around like the bottoms of your feet and it helps you basically be able to elongate to like bring stuff to stretch. So yoga strap I keep this in my bag all the time for if I need to stretch or if I can get someone to, like a trainer at the gym to stretch me or if I take a yoga class sliders if you've ever done mountain climbers then you know what this is for sliders I got these on Amazon as well I will put the description in the link in the description box for these I think these are like 20 bucks so I'm not 100% sure towel I always carry my own towel because I don't really, I don't really trust the, uh, the towels at the gym. I don't like it, no, so. Bring my own towel. <sighs> my fat burner, L carnitine. Um, sometimes I, I, this is something that I keep in and take out of my bag because sometimes I'll take it at home before I go to the gym, but sometimes I'll take it when I'm at the gym. Uh, this is the 3,000, you can take once a day, or they have the 1,500, you can take twice a day. I just take the 3,000, take it to the head. Shout out to the Fit Bender. He is the one who put me on to this. And yeah, when you're trying to when you're trying to burn up some stuff, this, berry. This goes in my bag. Other liquids, water. This is a gallon jug that i got on amazon i will put the link in the man my whole gym bag is all amazon now that i think about it this this is this is a totally an amazon what's in my gym bag amazon twenty dollars i have uh two of these actually i have this one that has like isn't it so cute it has like high heels and lipstick and stuff on it y'all i'm such a girly girl don't don't judge me like you ever met somebody that's like a big ass tomboy but still a really super feminine girl. Oh, that's me. That's me. Like, yes. So I love this. But I also have a plain pink one. That That's the one that I travel with. This is my at-home one. And my pink one is the one. My plain pink one is the one that I travel with. Just because I just love this one so much. This is in my gym bag as well. Sometimes it's in my bag. Sometimes I just carry it in my hand. Because I'm always constantly drinking. And... Some of the last things are gloves, weights. Ladies especially, get these for your hands. If you're gonna be hitting the weights, one thing you don't like, me, I, I, I already have like man hands. Like I've always been like that ever since I was a little girl. My hands are like super wrinkly. Like I have like old man hands. What you don't want is hard callous hands. You know how like when you see a guy and then you all like with his hands and he be having like some super soft hands, look all delicate and stuff. And you be like, ooh, you, what do you, like, you, you, do, do you, do you do hard labor? Like why are your, why are your hands so soft? Like, ooh, you, that, that guys don't like girls that have hard hands. So get you some weight gloves. One, they help with when you're weightlifting for grip. Two, they keep you from getting calluses all over your hands. They keep your hands nice and soft. Boom, weight gloves. Now, because your girl likes to sweat, and I be trying to, you know, especially around this waist area, I be trying to get this waist area down. Sweat gel. This is by Honey Bull. It's the Fit Gel. This is the Coconut Workout Enhancer. Again, shout out to the Fit Bender. He is the one who put me on to this particular one. And this is my second bottle, and I love it. I'll put the link, I got this on Amazon too. I'll put the link in the description box for Amazon. You take this, it goes up and down. It's just like a 
like a deodorant stick and you rub this all over where you want to sweat more. It's just, it's just like any sweet sweat or any other kind like that, but I love it because it has a coconut, mm, it has a coconut smell to it. It smells so good. So it's like even when you are like sweating and you feel like you're all stank, not with this, you're not, because you're going to smell like coconut. So, along with my sweat gel, I have all of my things that make me sweat more. So I have my, just a regular Gold's Gym trimming belt. I think I got this for like $5 at like Walmart. Again, had it for a while. I really need to get another one, because um, I've, I've had this one for a while. My sweat vest. So I will like put this on and then I'll have this over it, especially if I'm trying to get in like a good sweat session. I'll put that over top of this because this helps with all of the arm sweat and like the back sweat. You know how we get, you know how we got this area right here, like right here, this right here. This is what's gonna help like sweat all of that. When I when I wear this, like this is all drippy, like my neck be kind of drippy. When I wear this, I'm dripping like all over, like all over really helping to thin out so i think i got this on in fact i did i got this on amazon too this is a a sweat vest i'll link that in the description box as well and last but not least another waist belt this one is has rods in it so it's a little bit tighter and it's adjustable it's twice adjustable so i my Sweat belt tends to move a lot because my waist and my hips, it doesn't stay straight, it always rides up. So I put this on outside of that to help it stay in place. And because this brings in my waist just a little bit more than what I want and a little bit tighter when I really wanna suck it in. So I'll wrap it here, but then I can stretch this out and put it in even more. And then put it in even more. Like if I wanna do this or if I wanna Make it kind of loose. Let me let me stand up so I can figure it out. So this is like when it's like regular, like this. But if I really want to cinch it in, I can really like cinch it in, start sweating, you know, do that. So yeah. So this is the last thing that's in my gym bag. This is my entire gym bag. Oh, and you know, can't forget the phone. Gotta have the tunes. And this is my entire gym bag. Like I said, sometimes my water jug, I'll carry my water jug, but if I don't feel like carrying it, it'll go in my bag. But yeah, so that is it guys. That is a what's in my gym bag. You guys asked for it, here it is. If you guys have any suggestions of anything else that you think I might need in my gym bag, or if you have any questions for me about the items that I suggested, again, all the links will be in the description box. If you haven't, if you're not doing my Teamy Blends 30 Day Detox, make sure you're doing that because I'm doing it too. I'm on day, what is today? Today's March 12th, so I'm I'm on day 12. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded, but I'm on day 12 of the detox right now. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the, in the comment section what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.